The wilderness is not a place of randomness and disorder, but rather it's the place of ultimate order. It's a place in which laws are highly evolved. Currently, our legal system is based on these false assumptions that somehow humans are separate from nature, that we're the puppeteers and nature's the puppet, and we can do whatever we like with it. And um, it's a potentially fatal delusion. In South Africa, the apartheid re regime used to believe it. The apartheid now, though, is between our species and the rest of, of the community of life, and that's what we've got to get rid of. Uh, quantum theory tells you that everything is related. You cannot separate. This is exactly the lesson of Gaia, that everything is related, everything is connected. I think that the degradation of the outer environment of the world is a reflection, is a mirroring of the degradation of our inner world. I, I um, make myself feel better by saying, well, I'm flying to go and to educate people to try and save the planet. But I am a hypocrite. I'm as bad as anyone else. You're filming me and all these lights generated by coal fire plants. So these are global warming lights. This is the thing that I thought you lot were going to do for us, which is to teach us balance. You see? You're working on it. Well, hurry up because I'll be dead soon. I'd like to see it before I die. In order to redress that balance, we need to have a concept of the Earth as alive and full of meaning. And I think Gaia theory really helps us to understand that there is something bigger than just us on this planet. I think it's that yeah, rediscovery and recreation of new uh, uh, indigenous culture that that is our, that's our cultural task. When you think about the declaration of the rights of Mother Earth or the concept and practice of Earth democracy that we are building in India, these are all contributions towards building an earth community, thinking of a united natures, a united nations of all species.